Paramedic Sadiq Abrams begins his night shift with a prayer for safety. He works to save lives, but often his own is at risk in areas in Cape Town so dangerous he needs armed police protection. The first call of the night comes from Mitchell's Plain, where a woman says she's been physically assaulted. The crime rate is very rife here, especially the later it gets, the worse it gets. Normally what we would do is, is a load and go, but we don't have a choice now because of a back injury, we have to get her stabilized. As the crowd grows, the police keep a close watch. The need for security is an all too familiar reality for Sadiq's partner, Susan. We heard a big um, bang, and when we ran outside, we saw that people were breaking into our vehicle. Second incident, uh, we went to a call. People said that we came late, and they started attacking my colleague, and they fractured his nose. Another crew heads to what's known as a red zone, an area of high crime. Paramedic Candace Marks can only respond when police arrive. This is Hanover Park overcrowded, poor, and riddled with violence. We don't put our lights on to attract too much attention, because that will just attract more people to the scene of, of where the, the incident is. See now, these guys standing there on the corner. So they would be like people that will maybe break in while we're busy with a patient. In one year, there were more than 280 attacks on paramedics in Cape Town alone. Most of these neighborhoods are in red zones where paramedics say they're increasingly under threat. Often they're held at gun or knife point and their equipment stolen. Waiting for a police escort means it takes longer for paramedics to respond to emergencies, but they say they don't have a choice. As midnight approaches, we hear there's been a shooting in Mannenberg on the Cape Flats. Three men have been shot, we're told, by rival gang members. This is often the type of situation that the paramedics respond to. And while they work, police stand guard. With so many people on the street, paramedics don't know who could be a threat and if gang members are watching them. Sadiq tells us he's been threatened before. The guy was scared to go to hospital because the 28 gangs uh, assaulted him and he uh, said that they were going to wait for him to finish him off. He wanted us to, to treat him, stitch him and discharge him at home. So I said it doesn't work that way. And then he got violent, he attacked me. The paramedics work quickly, spending as little time as possible at scenes where there's been violence. There's so many blessings. Um, going into a small squatter camp house, delivering a baby in the dark, and you get a thank you from a mother, a thank you from a heart. That's priceless. The city of Cape Town says it's using security cameras and installing panic buttons in ambulances. But for these emergency workers, going to work every day brings with it an enormous risk. Famida Miller, Al Jazeera, Cape Town.